Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee International. I am Daniel Goodwin. Over there is John Lewandowski. On behalf of our podcast, we would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. As this is our last show before the holidays, as we are both taking time off to be with our families and hang out with each other at the same time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. Before we get into that, two parts. No update on whether or not Jankowski will be suspended from yesterday's game and actions of the double uh, 10 minute misconduct, which would have took him out for the game anyway, plus the two minute penalty. So he would have been out for the game anyway. Yeah. So I'm wondering if that game misconduct will get an assessment to a one game suspension. Not sure if that will happen yet. We'll see um, what happens tomorrow morning. But that's happening, and as well, I don't think it would really matter with oh the potential for O'Reilly today, with which we'll get into in this game. So, all right, today the Nashville Predators took on the Philadelphia Flyers. Shots on goal in the first period. Philadelphia outshoots Nashville thirteen to nine. In the second period, Philadelphia outshoots Nashville thirteen to nine. In the third period, Nashville outshoots Philadelphia 13 to 5, and both teams at a total of 31 shots. The Predators were better at the faceoff circle at 51.9% to Philadelphia's 48.1%. Nashville goes 0 for 5 on the power play with 21 penalty minutes, while Philadelphia goes 1 for 4 with 10 penalty minutes. Philadelphia had 16 hits to Nashville's 15. Philadelphia had 12 block shots to Nashville's 10. Each team had five giveaways. Nashville had four takeaways to Philadelphia's one. Scoring in the first period for Philadelphia at the 131 mark into the game was Frost, his fourth of the year, assisted by Brink, his 10th, and Tippett, his ninth. Then in the second period uh, for Nashville, Smith that gets on the board from a shorthanded goal, his fifth of the season at the 105 mark. First of the shorthanded goal, by the way. Okay. Assisted by Sissons, his seventh. And then for Philadelphia at the 445 mark, um, Katuri scores his eighth on the power play unassisted. Then at the five. 5- 24 mark, Philip Tomasino gets on the board with his third with an assist from Novak, his ninth, and Forsberg, his 21st. Um, then in the third, uh, Tomasino scores his fourth with an assist from Colton Sissons, his eighth. And then an empty net goal on a poke check <laughs> from Gustav Nyquist. Uh, his fifth with an assist from Forsberg, his 22nd. Um, that should also read O'Reilly. He's the one that blocked the shot. Yeah. Um, UC Saros gets the win uh, for Nashville. Um, stop it. 29 to 31 with a 93.5 save percentage. Uh, the Flyers goalie, uh, Urson, he stopped 27 of 30 with a 90% save percentage. All righty. The restarters of the game are. Third start of the game was. Craig Smith or Craig Smith, Colton Gold Smith, Gold Smith. We're gonna call him Gold Smith from now on because mm-hmm. he just set a career high in goals as well today. Uh, Mr. Gold Smith. And, and matter of fact, he has ten assists. He's creeping up on his uh, uh, most points in a single season. So for him, a uh, career high in that. Uh, Owen Tippett gets an assist. He's the second star, and Tomasino with two goals. The Nashville Predators go, going um, into this had had a kind of a bummer of a game. Um, 
just curious to where we'll be at um going into Saturday's game. Where the friends will play the stars in Nashville at noon. Uh, big game for Nashville in that category. Um, with this game, Nashville stays where they are. Arizona is kind of knocking on the door. They've got a, two games in hand, so we we'll see what's going on there, but That is all I have on uh, that. Um, no exact uh, of what's going on in uh, much right now for the uh, NHL. Um, beyond that, like I said, I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and have good times with your family. Drink plenty of eggnog. Just remember, if, you live, if you're the last one to spike the eggnog, you're the loser. <laughs> And I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, seriously. If you're the last one to spike the eggnog, you're the party pooper. <laughs> so have fun. Just make sure that there's one separate for the children. Non-spiked. <laughs> but uh, all righty. Uh, we will see you guys again on the 27th for our double. Have a great Christmas.